Well, good evening, everyone. My name is Anne, Anne McPhee, and it's my privilege to be the North Anglia Education Regional Managing Director for the Americas. And tonight, what you are here to enjoy is the celebration of our young people from all the schools across the Americas. So the good thing is that I'm not going to talk long at all. I'm just going to say it's an absolute privilege to be here. But I am going to talk to the young people up in the mezzanine and for those young people who are behind the stage right now ready to come on. I have heard some amazing stories about you in the last three days. I have heard how collaborative you've been, how you've been excited about what you're here to do, and how you've made people feel part of this experience. Because we have one young lady from Panama, just one from our school in the Metropolitan in Panama, and you have taken Sophie and made her feel very welcome as part of the dance. So I am really looking forward tonight to seeing what the students of the America schools can do. Partnering in collaboration with Juilliard is quite a spectacular opportunity. And in these three days, I know you have benefited from tremendous learning from the skills of those specialists with you. But I also suspect you've learned a lot from each other. I suspect you've been watching as students are playing, your friends are singing, your dancers are dancing, and your drama are acting. So I hope you have a great night tonight. And when you go back to your schools, I hope these three days in partnership with Juilliard are some of the best you've ever had. And as an audience, I hope you have a really wonderful evening and really celebrate the skills the attributes, and the joy that are your children. Thank you, everyone.
the type of girl who hides my face, so afraid to tell the world what I've got to say. crashing through, when you need a friend to carry you, when, when you're, you're broken, broken on the ground, you will be found.
Good evening. My name is Jessica Meyer. I'm a composer and a violist and an alumni of the Juilliard School. And I have the pleasure to coming down regularly to Miami to perform in the New Deco Ensemble, but also regularly visit North Anglia schools, but particularly North Broward, where I regularly engage students in figuring out how to tap into their own creativity while their instruments are in their hand, which is quite different from how we're usually trained. Uh, and I'm here because since Thursday, uh, my collaborative partner, Caroline Furman, a dancer, uh, we were decided how great would it be if we were able to expand that creativity and have musicians interact with dancers in creating their own great piece about what they want to comment on as artists about the world. And some very similar things came up. One group is going to be showing about loss, another group about growing up. And another group was processing the concept of mental health. And everything you're about to hear was created, devised, developed by the students. And 
Even the parts where they were all performing together at the same time were devised this morning. So you're seeing an unbelievably fresh work of art and they decided to title it Hidden Beings. So please welcome the Collab Lab and thank you so much for coming tonight.
This next performance exemplifies that our differences are beautiful and should be celebrated. Please enjoy this collaborative performance of I Have a Voice.
so much. It's just great to be here and to uh, experience uh, these young students and their music and uh, to be able to present uh, to you a lot of different kinds of approaches to music. We started that little Handel chorus and we spent time exploring what it meant to sing Baroque music and the motivic repetitions and how the composer uses those things. And uh, so it's a great, uh, great experience to, to take just a little snippet of the Baroque. And now we come into current day we draw on a text that actually comes from the 19th century, but we uh, take a brand new setting of this text. It's an old hymn text, actually, written by a man named George Matheson. Matheson's most defining moment in his life was when, at age 19, just a little bit older than, than many of these young students, he began to realize that he was losing his sight. Betrothed to a young woman, he released her from her commitment, and she left. And he spent the rest of his life as a single man, becoming a preacher and a traveler, and doing amazing uh, things uh, around the country of Scotland. At a time when he finally turns to his own sister to marry her, he remembers this defining moment, and he writes this text about a love that does not let him go. We uh, hang on to our cellist uh, Hannah Baldwin and we sing, O oh, love that wilt not let me go.
Sloan John joins us on the djembe for an African praise song. together, different ages, different talent levels, different kinds of voices. It's been really a pleasure to watch them work. I, I can't believe I got to do that, that this week and uh, to work with, uh, how many of you are parents out there? Oh, yeah. Man. Well, all I have to say is these, these young men and women come from pretty good stock. There's a great gene pool out there, I'm telling you. Just, uh, just amazing. Thank you so much uh, uh, to Liz uh, Korkos and uh, her, her work. And her, man. She was kind of the one that made sure that I got here and, and did everything that I was supposed to do, and I've really enjoyed uh, She does that very well. <laughs> and I've really enjoyed meeting her and, uh, and uh, getting a chance to see her work. It is really fabulous. Jason King, thank you for being my handler. That was fantastic. Jason King, back there. Yeah.
when I go out and do a, a choir festival, I know, and choral directors out there know, that the one who leads the rehearsals is really behind the keys, and it, uh, it, they just have to kind of figure out how to stay around me and make it work. And sometimes it's not very fun. And this time it was really fun. And uh, I just had a great time, a great, great musician. Uh, who I think it's relatively new in the area. I don't, I don't know, but this is uh, Cassie McKeith. Say hello to her. <laughs> We've explored a lot of uh, ideas. We've imagined peoples and places, and even in times, going back into the 17th century to understand culture would maybe be the best test for us to learn to understand other cultures, to go back in time. We've explored new regions and new realms. And our last song speaks of those kinds of regions and uh, realms, just like I spoke of. So Sloan gives up her, her, uh, her drum and goes to the Celtic drum. And now Mr. Nicholas Rael joins me with the Celtic flute. And we sing a song that takes us into that region that we call the heartland.